Hi all, today's topic is comparison test. The property is every finite series is a convergent series. So we have two types of a series, P series and the geometric series. If it is a P series means 1 divided by 1 power P plus 1 divided by 2 power P plus 1 divided by 3 power P etc. It goes on 1 divided by n power P. The general case is sum of 1 by n P. So depending upon P only we can check whether it is a convergent or divergent. It is convergent means P greater than 1. It is divergent means P less than or equal to 1. It's opposite of P series is the geometric series. 1 plus R plus R squared etc. R power n. It's nothing but sum of R power n. So it is convergent. If it is greater than 1 means P series it is convergent. But here is less than 1 means it's a convergent. So divergent here is P is less than 1 for a P series. But here it is greater than 1 means it's a divergent. So opposite of your P series is a geometric series. Just you have to remember. So one more condition we have to remember. It's nothing but it's in arithmetic progression. So how to write the nth term. So it is nothing but dn how we have to write in the AP. It's nothing but a plus n minus 1 into d. a is nothing but first term. For example, if it is 1 plus uh, uh, 2 plus 3 plus etc. It goes on means first term is uh, a is nothing but 1. Okay. The common d is nothing but common difference. The second term and first term when I subtract it, what is the common difference? 1. So d is nothing but 1. So when I write it the same format, it's nothing but Tn. So this is the example only. So Tn is nothing but A is 1. 1 plus n minus 1 into D. So 1. So n minus 1 minus 1. So it is a n. So we know that n. Normally, generally 1 plus 2 plus 3 is nothing but nth term is n. So, so directly when I apply the formula also, you will be getting the same thing only. So n. So this is the way for writing any arithmetic progression. So, the test is comparison test. So, what is the test means? If two positive terms, uh, sum of un and vn. So, we are taking a two positive series uh, such that when I take a limit n tending to infinity, un divided by vn, I get the answer to be finite. It should not be 0, not equal to 0. Then we say that un and vn converge or diverge together. Both will converge or diverge together. Suppose if un is convergent means vn also converge. If uh, un is divergent means vn also is diverge. So that is the meaning of the comparison test. So the first question. Test the convergent of the series. So, question has been given. First, we need to write first un. So, we will write a un first. We need to write first un. Un is nothing but numerator, denominator, separate. We have to write it. So, un when I write it. So, when I write it un. U, N, I have to write 1, 3 and 5. So, separate you write it in a rough column so that you will not do any mistake. 1, 3, 5 etc. So, when I write it, A is nothing but 1. So, difference is nothing but 2. So, when I write it in a formula, it's 1 plus N minus 1 into 2. So, it's nothing when I subtract it, 2 N minus 2. So, it's 2 N minus 1. So, Numerator 2n minus 1. Same denominator 1, 2, 3. It's nothing but n. Generally, we know that it is n. 2, 3, 4. So, n plus 1. Okay. 3, 4, high. So, n plus 2. So, easy and all. You need not apply the formula. So, directly we can write. So, this is nothing but un. Un we have written. Now, um, before writing Vn, how we have to write Vn means, so the Vn for writing, what is the procedure for uh, writing Vn? From uh, Un only we have to write a Vn. So how we have to write a Vn means, in the numerator take a common term outside, n you have to take commonly out, in the denominator take the common term outside. Other, apart from the question, remaining term whatever bending you have it, that is called as a Vn. For example, I will show you then only you can understand n in the numerator n I will take it outside n if I take it outside this is 2 minus 1 by n in the numerator 
same way in the denominator n 1 n already here one more n here one more n so n cube i have to take it outside so when i write it in this it's 1 plus 1 by n in this 1 plus 2 by n so completed now cancel this term okay and i cancel it okay so vn is the remaining term use some other color so that you can understand vn how we have to write means so vn is this term leave out your question okay remaining term which is not involved in the question which is extra term okay so that is called vn vn is nothing but 1 by n squared after cancellation so, Vn is nothing but 1 by n squared. So, this is the way we have to write it a Vn. Okay. Now, Vn we know, Un you know, we have to divide both and take a limit. So, that I will do it. And again, I will use the same color. So, so limit n tending to infinity, Un divided by vn so when i divide it reason when you cancel itself you know so why we have written vn the, this way means you will understand when i do so now this is our un so 1 by n squared so 2 minus 1 by n divided by n squared into 1 plus 1 by n into 1 plus 2 by n so, into divided by Vn, divided by Vn, it's nothing but 1 by n squared. Now, you check, it's cancelled. For this reason only, we are writing extra term, okay, we are going to cancel. So, for that reason only, we have written. Now, apply n tending to infinity, each term I can apply it. You apply and check, n tending to infinity, 1 by infinity, 0, 1 by infinity, 0, 2 by infinity, 0. So, answer will be 2. So, answer is 2 means it is finite only, it is not a 0, it is finite only, not 0, it is finite. So, by comparison test, by comparison test, Summation un and vn converge or diverge together. Converge or diverge. Converges or diverges together. You should not leave it as it is. Now, okay, we know that. But we don't know the final answer. So, what I have to do means, Vn you take, Vn, sum of Vn is nothing but sum of 1 by n squared. Okay. So, it is a P series. Okay. So, it is nothing but P series. So, P series, what it is P series? You remember the P series, no? n power P. Okay. So, n power P. So, it is of the format n power p. So, it is a p series. So, n power p. So, p now it is 2. It is greater than 1. Okay. More than 1 means. So, your vn is convergent. vn convergent means un also it is convergent. Because sum of 1 by n power p, where p greater than 1, it is a convergent. So, this is the reason it is a convergent. Okay. So, we will go with the one more question so that you can understand clearly. The second question.
problem two. Test the convergence. One by two into three plus one by three into four plus etc. It goes on. Okay. So now, so when I write u n, I have to write. So now when I write a u n, Numerator, uh, denominator we don't have, numerator we don't have only one. So, denominator only have to write the general form. So, it is un is nothing but 1 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 into etc. is nothing but n. 2 into 3 into 4 is nothing but n plus 1. So, completed. So, now before applying vn, so what do we have to do? Take the common term, numerator means common term. Numerator I don't have at all. Denominator I have to take common term 1 plus 1 by n. So now Vn can be written as I will use some other color so that you can understand. Vn is nothing but 1 by n squared is a Vn. Vn 1 by n squared. Okay. So completed. Vn is completed. So, u n already know, v n also completed. So, limit n tending to infinity, u n divided by v n. So, divide it. So, 1 by n square into 1 plus 1 by n. So, this 1 by v n, I will write it in the numerator. So, it get cancelled. So, now limit n tending to infinity, 1 divided by 1 plus 1 by n. So it's nothing but 1 only. So it is a finite. It's not equal to 0. Therefore, by like this, you have to write by comparison test. Sum of u n and sum of v n are converge or diverge together. So we have to check v n data. Sum of v n we have to check. First, I will take sum of v n. Sum of v n is nothing but sum of 1 by n squared. So, it's nothing but general case 1 by n power p. 1 by n power p. Sum of 1 by n power p. So, p equal to 2. So, which is greater than 1. Therefore, so it's nothing but it's greater than 1 means what it is. Sum of Vn is convergent. Vn convergent means Un also. It's a convergent. Okay. 